Hi, my name is Yiri, and in this quick demonstration, I want to show you how you can integrate Web Methods API Gateway with No Name Security's API security solution. When you log into your No Name instance and go and check out the settings for your instance, you'll find the section on integrations where there's a number of pre configured integrations available. Um, those are not necessarily all activated, but they are pre configured out of the box and they're really easy for you to set up. Now, the great thing is that NoName also provides a lot of other source integrations, as they call it. And source integrations provide you ways of sending information about API traffic to the NoName engine so that they can go and analyze it and apply all of their great API security magic to that traffic information. So we'll go ahead and add a source integration for Web Methods API Gateway simply by clicking the Add Source Integration button here. And then you'll see there's a list of source integrations that we can add. One of them is Web Methods API Gateway. So I'll just go ahead and add a new integration for Web Methods API Gateway. And this gives me two pieces of information that I need to remember. First is the source index. It's a unique number, in this case, eight, which identifies for this instance of the no name engine, what is the source of API traffic information that we are receiving events from. The second piece of information we'll use later. So I'll go ahead and copy this. Um, and this is the URL for the engine that will analyze the events. So when we send information about API traffic events to the no name engine, we will be sending it to this URL. There we go, just add it. And this actually completes the integration on the no name side. If you just go ahead and refresh, you'll see that we have a yellow icon here now. This yellow icon means that we have a source configured for Web Methods API Gateway, but that we have not yet received any traffic, which makes perfect sense because we haven't configured Web Methods API Gateway yet to send traffic to the known engine. So let's go ahead and do that. Right, so in our Web Methods API Gateway instance, um, we'll need to provide two pieces of configuration. The first piece is how we will provide the events to the known name engine which we'll do using a destination. And the second piece is, how will we decide which events we want to send to the engine, which will apply through a policy. So first let's configure the destination, which you can find in administration. And under destinations, you see there's a number of predefined destinations and we can add custom destinations. The destination is essentially a target for audit log data. And there's different types of audit log data, but in this case, we're particularly interested about in the API management uh, audit log data because those are actually the traffic events for API requests and responses. So I'll go and add a custom destination for no name. No name security as a custom destination. We'll have a destination of type external endpoint, which is an HTTP invocation with the method post, and we will be posting our audit events to the URL that we received earlier when we configured the source integration on the no-name side. Everything else I can leave as default, except I obviously want to activate the API management um, audit logs. So activate that and simply add it. So this has created a destination for no-name security that when used will send the audit information about API requests and responses to the no name engine. Now for the policy part. When we create a policy, we need to decide whether we want to apply a policy to an individual API or whether we want to create the policy as a global policy. Uh, both mechanisms work for the no name integration. Um, so you could go ahead and on an individual API add a policy that sends those destinations, or sorry, sends those audit events to that destination for that specific API only. But since we're dealing with security, I like a blanket approach better, which means create a global policy that applies to all of the APIs automatically, no matter whether you add new ones, change existing ones, that policy will automatically be applied and send that information to no name. So I'll go and create a global policy for no name security. And I will be sending all types of traffic information. I don't need to change the filters, but I do need to add two little pieces of configuration here. 
First, we're going to add two custom HTTP headers, which the no-name engine needs to identify this traffic that we'll send to it. So the first one is the no-name endpoint. And the no-name endpoint header basically identifies the endpoint on which we, Web Methods API Gateway, received the API requests. This is not part of our standard um, or default um, audit event model, but we can add it as a custom HTTP header and our valuable, a variable framework. So inbound request URI gives us that URL, which is great. So we've added that. And next we want to add the source index which in this case was our unique number of eight. So these two um, variables as part of the audit event information will give no name, will give the engine that no name has in the backend, the information to understand. This is API traffic that we've received from web methods. And this is actually the URL that was invoked on the web methods API gateway instance. So this extra metadata has been added. Then next, we simply want to configure the destination for our traffic monitoring. So we'll just go ahead and add a log invocation where we'll store all the requests and responses, headers, and payloads. And we will send it to the no-name security destination. We save this policy and activate it. We just have completed the configuration for the integration between Web Methods API Gateway and the no name instance. Just to quickly summarize what I've done, um, we've gone through the configuration on the no name side where we've added a source integration to the no name engine. Then we've gone to Web Methods API Gateway and created a custom destination for a no name so that we can send audit events to the no name engine. And we have configured a global policy that applies to all of the APIs that I have within my API, my API Gateway instance, and that forwards the audit log data about API traffic to the no-name engine. Now, as traffic starts to flow through the API Gateway instance, it will start to report those audit events to no-name, and no-name will start to anal analyze all of the events and apply all of their great API security magic to it. I hope this was meaningful to you, and I wish you another great day.